Hi and welcome back to a brand new tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about the REFX uh, Nexus 2 sample player synthesizer and uh, we're going to be looking at how to uh, export the individual sounds from a sequence. So here this is where I explain how to export this sequence separately. So let's just take a listen to this again. So let's now go to mix and then layer. And then you can see we've got these parts here. So there's 13 parts. So if we start by just taking off these parts, here you can see there's different layers within the layer, within the actual layer of the sound. We can modify the, the levels and the pans. So if I start by just turning these off, going back up to the top, we should start off probably with the kick we can see that there's a kick on its own so I wasn't mistaken there so let's try number two and then we have a rim shot so we can start So there's a bass there, and then the synth there. So let's start with the kick. And all we have to do here is bounce in place. What I do usually is I name the actual track itself. I come back here. I can see it's XP Deep House 2 and it's chill time. So what I'm going to do now is name this the same as this. So I just named this here. And what we're going to do is do right click here and then name regions by tracks. Here, this would automatically rename the region. And so what we need to do now is go back into here, into layer. And then bounce in place the kick do a control B and that will bounce it before the name I'm going to put BD so I know it's the bass drum click on OK so we've got here we've got the, the bass drum on its own so you can hear it here no problems there I'm going to mute that for now go back to the main sequence we're now going to record the second part which is the rim the same thing again control B to put rim in front of the name and OK I'm going to go away and bounce all that just to make things go a bit quicker and we'll come back with the uh, the result of that so I exported each element out of Nexus and I gave each part its own color that I use usually. Now we can see what we have. And what's good here, we can actually see how they've made this sequence, which is done by professionals. So it's quite interesting to see the way they put the these sequences together. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, and I will see you soon. And don't forget to leave some comments.